Hey guys, welcome back and happy February. Woo, Valentine's Day, we already got our gear on. <laughs> We're matching. <laughs> Our last vlog, we told you guys about a super exciting opportunity, and this is not the vlog where we can actually share where we went, but we did go on TV, and it was so exciting. We can't wait to share that. We cannot wait to but share But you guys gotta be patient. You gotta wait just yeah. a little bit longer. But for right now, we're gonna be talking about Canada. Ooh. We also thought we were gonna be doing a vlog in Canada, and we took video, but we didn't do a full vlog, so we're just gonna take you through our trip. We were and just so focused on the family visit that we just kind of left the cameras off and just kind of enjoyed. Each yeah, other's and you were supposed to be going to Canada for every Thanksgiving, but then we realized with content creation and social media that October, October. is really, really busy. Yes. So last time we went, I literally was pulling my hair out. Like you guys probably couldn't tell because we did do a vlog when we went. That was back when we had, uh, we still have the RV, but that was back when we traveled from California to Canada with our RV. That took us like, a, it was a three week trip. Yeah. And it was uh -huh. right around October, Thanksgiving, Canadian Thanksgiving. And that was a busy, busy time for us. So we learned a lot that first trip going to Canadian Thanksgiving. Yes, that we did. This time around, we decided not to go for that Canadian Thanksgiving simply because we knew how busy we were gonna be and thankfully we didn't go. <laughs> yeah, because, because we were busy. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, when we got to Canada, we just wanted to like focus on Peter's family. So we flew in yeah. Friday night after we went on our TV appearance. <laughs> And Saturday morning, we went straight to Peter's parents' house. Yeah, because it was my brother's birthday. He turned 30 this year. Dirty 30. Dirty 30. What is it? 30, flirty, and, and thriving. thriving. Yeah. <laughs> So the party was really fun and it was a nice way to kick off our whole trip to Canada and then we needed to do some of our favorite things. <laughs> like stop at the Roots Canada store for some annual family fit shopping. Yes, and I don't know <laughs> if we have a clip of this, we might, but we always go to Tim Hortons multiple times. Mm -hmm. So we went to Tim Hortons. What's like, your order? I got an ice cap one time. You didn't finish it. I didn't finish I never finished my coffee. <laughs> I literally, we have coffee right here. I haven't even touched it. Um, but yeah, so I got an ice cap and I really like their donut holes or their- Timbits. Uh, Timbits, Tim I'm sorry. Yes, and I get the medium double-double, two cream, two sugar. So if you want to be Canadian and show off, go to Tim Hortons and ask for a double-double. <laughs> we also had to take Aiden back on the slopes because he loved it so much the first time. Yeah, his first time at Michigan, and now we took him to my local hill where I grew up at Mount St. Louis Moonstone. My brother actually works there. He's a ski patroller, so we got in there, and Aiden tried snowboarding for the very first time. He was really good. I was so nervous because <laughs> I was thinking about it, and when you snowboard, you have to turn your body and stay that way, yep. and I definitely feel like the idea of staying forward, at least as an adult, seems easier, but um, he did really good. He was so good. So we have a lot of clips of that. Yes, and we're hoping next season he'll actually be able to tell us which one he prefers, and we're going to go that way. I might be biased. I'm pushing for the skis. We'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I tried skiing. I was very timid and slow. I was doing what did I have? I pizza? beg to differ because you were so fast when we were in Canada. I was better. You were better. You had the turns in, you had your pizza, you had your french fries. Next year, maybe I'll be a little faster. My goal, my ultimate goal in life is to have a winter sport family. One of my favorite things about him skiing or snowboarding just in general is that we let him decide when it was time to call it quits because he would always say, again, again. Mm -hmm. And then when he had enough, he would just say, all done. He's gotten so much better at talking. Like Vocal, it, yeah. It's honestly amazing to hear how much more he is speaking and expressing himself his new favorite right now is come and sit. Like, how do you say no to that invitation? Yeah, you know? <laughs> of course. You guys were laying down. Oh. 
And he was like, come and sleep. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, because we were watching TV in, in bed. He was yeah, on my left yeah. side. So he was watching the screen this way, and he turns around, he turns his head, and he does this with his hand, like, come and sleep. <laughs> come and sleep. I know, <laughs> it was so cute. <laughs> so yeah, he's gotten really, really good with speaking and talking. Um, oh, we I miss did him. Me too. He's at oh. school right now. We wanted to do some life updates. Oh yeah? Yeah. Life updates, we made it back into the house. <laughs> let's let let's let the cat out of the bag with this one, okay? A big news. Mariah has been working on something for ages, it feels like ages, and you are so close. Yeah, I have been working on launching a I would say it's an extension of our business. I really think I have always wanted to get back to this. Peter and I used to have um, an Etsy store mm -hmm. that was, I would say it was pretty popular. The Princess and her Frog. The Princess and her Frog. If you looked it up now, I don't even think you'd be able to find it, but we had it right up until we had Aiden. Mm -hmm. And once we had Aiden, we decided we're gonna go ahead and pursue social media because it was very time consuming. So now I am finally on my way back into that business of like selling products. Yes. And so I'm so excited. This is something that I have envisioned for years and I really wanted to create something special. I wanted to create it myself. Every single piece of the design is been very well thought through. I'm so proud of you because like the amount of work that you put into this and like how long it's it's been taking, you know, yeah. like you are seeing it through. I know, I'm yeah. seeing it through. And, and it's you're been, so close. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so I hate to be that person that's like, I can't tell you yet, but I'm not gonna share yet until at least we have images. Yeah. Um, of the product, but just now I placed my big order. It's coming and we are almost there three months out and I cannot wait to share it with you guys. It's been a minute since you guys have seen a brand new podcast episode. It's been a minute since we talked about it, uh, but we went full force with that. We reached our goal of 10 episodes with some really great guests and now we're looking to revamp it. What do you think? What's next for our podcast? Cool conversations. So I have been thinking a lot about it and I really do, I love the idea. Um, some of the things that we learned is the traveling is a lot on us and not just the traveling. I think if we were just traveling just us and Aiden and Marissa, it'd be one thing, mm. but because we have the polyglide and all the equipment and all the equipment, it is a lot to travel. Yeah. And truthfully, the podcast really only did okay. Like I think that some of you guys really, really liked it and then others, either we didn't do it for long enough or it just wasn't your cup of tea. Yeah. So we are kind of going back to the drawing board so that we can kind of still keep, I love the idea. I love the idea of getting our guests on the ice. We had so much fun teaching people how to skate. Um, what I kind of wheels turning have in my head is I've always wanted to do relationship advice. Mm. I talked about this at one time with you guys before, but I don't think we, we didn't pursue it. We didn't mm. pursue it. We said it, some of you guys actually submitted and we never. Oh yeah. The, uh, I'm not do it for love. Right, That's what it was right. supposed to be called. Yeah. yeah. So I think somehow I want to take our already existing podcast. Mm -hmm. Let that be season one. Season two, we somehow bring in relationship advice and talking about topics that we, um, you know, are passionate about. And then maybe we have season specials where we go and skate with people. And maybe if we get a little bit more established, we can have people come to us. We just need to build the podcast up a little bit more. So if we can just do some episodes, just us, add in some things like relationship advice, friendship advice like I, I really think that that would be fun it would get you guys involved in it a little bit more with all that being said you know tell us what you want to see down mm -hmm. in the comments below we would greatly appreciate it and we just we're just looking for some inspiration and we want to give you guys what you're looking for yeah we want to give you guys what you guys want from us because I feel like a lot of things especially in business is you always it's it's not about you like a lot of times the things that we're sharing like we're sharing it because we want to share it but a lot of the times like we're sharing because you guys are now a part of our family. We want to share the things that you guys want to see. We want to talk about the topics that you guys want us to talk about. Cause sometimes like, especially when you've been doing this, we've only been doing this for a few years, but creatively you get tapped out. You think of all these different ideas and then it's like, is that what people want to see from us? So let us know what you want to see. 
and hopefully in the next month or two we will start with a very good revamp and we'll make it a little bit more spicy well and speaking of family you know our youtube is growing you guys we are almost at 1 million subscribers on youtube we started this channel three years ago and i cannot believe that we are about to hit a million wow. subscribers Time like flies that was before aiden came in yeah i think yeah. i was like six months pregnant when we started the channel so to think back to where we started we had no idea where this would go yeah and this year our goal is just to build it out more and give you guys more vlogs as you've seen we've been putting out a lot more long form so we're going to continue to do that and we're hopefully going to revamp the podcast do some little advice um and yeah that's that's where we're at all right guys we love you we'll be back and um yeah bye, bye.